Hello, okay. Kavita. Thank you so much for coming and joining us. Do you do you have any uh, experience that you would like to share, which you feel is like was very fulfilling doing this work? You know, where an individual has reached some level which you really wanted him or her to reach. Ah, uh, you mean uh, one example I can give you? Or? Any experience, whatever that touched your heart, and you were like, "Wow, you know, like this child has reached this level with the training that you provided." Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, uh, there were quite a few actually. Ah, uh, you know, when we were uh, working on the uh, first two years, in the first two years, it was. Uh, one thing which we noticed that uh, some of them were excellent with the word search etc mm. so mm. this was another thing attention to detail that they could go in fact um, one of them went to sap also worked there for four years then i think the uh, parents had difficulty in collecting it, you know the individual this this was a girl uh, then uh, there was one who had gone in for um uh, again for testing itself um and was excellent with typing typing and pattern recognition both the things very fast and yes attention to detail that was also there yeah. um one has gone in for uh i think being a chef i think he he's uh, he's still um, taking lessons for that but he enjoyed uh, cooking and cooking also has a sequence if you look at it i mean you do this and that and so on so forth so yeah he was brilliant when he was doing uh, you know this course and um, somewhere he showed interest in cooking because he would go to the youtube as you said you know um that how they get distracted and how you manage so that was his interest area that uh, um you know he would go to the youtube find the recipes of things and even uh, at home when he will go he will ask his mom uh, we will make this today you know mm. so pursuing a chef you know a profession of a chef that way wow. so one of them worked with sap for four no, years we have we have actually um 17 in sap right now uh, but initially when they began they began very early in fact in the year 2011 itself they started looking at the employment part mm-hmm. uh, it was too early i would say for them to understand autism and their modalities and uh, their capabilities but initially they took four from prayas and uh, then what was happening they uh, you know people were approaching me that um, you know uh, can you help us um, uh, get the job at sap my son is good at this 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 etc whatever so i will just connect them to the people so all together right now they have 17 individuals who are working in the competitive employment open employment wow so they are the, all the individuals who are having a diagnosis of autism yes yes, yes still working them. and very uh, they are they are just functioning like how anybody else does work uh, there were a few accommodations uh, the company had done you know with respect to sensory overload overload etc mm. um even uh, you know i did the orientation seminars for them uh for uh, different levels the management team the working team etc and uh, uh made them understand how they work when the placement was happening mm. so uh, things worked for some some have left also i must say that uh reasons are different for each one of them so um i mean you, even in the mainstream i think the normal people also hop skip and jump right yeah yeah from one to another so 
Yeah. This is great. Huh? The success story was amazing. I mean, 17 people working, it gives a lot of hope to people who are listening. It's amazing. Yeah. In fact, across, across the globe, there are uh, more than 150 individuals who are working in SAP. 150 individuals with autism. <coughs> yes. Who are working uh, in SAP. Yes, and SAP meaning all over the world you're talking about. Not all just. over the world. They have uh, presence in uh, 70 uh, places across the globe. But this is so encouraging, you know. It's really, really encouraging that we work. In fact, yes, technology, yes, yes. Like in my son's case, which well, he's a graphic designer. I could not send him mm. to, um, uh, you know, uh, SAP or open employment because of his comorbid condition of epilepsy. Uh, no, right now, he's learning coding. Mm. And mm. I'm learning with him. So I'm enjoying it, actually. It mm. is online session that he's getting it from Chennai. And it's lovely. So, you know, you have to keep them opportunity, keep them giving the opportunity and uh, um, you never know. They keep on surprising you. <laughs> so. 